Welcome to the Collaborative Tech Suite here at the Flanagan campus. This room is equipped with various technologies for use by both students and faculty. The students can utilize the Collaborative Tech Suite to work on both independent and group projects in a quiet atmosphere outside of the lab. Faculty are able to schedule workshops and tutorials run by a member of our staff to better learn and understand the equipment available in every room. All of the equipment in the Collaborative Tech Suites can be found in many of the classrooms here on campus. From the Symposium to the Document Camera and the DVD VCR Combo Unit to the Projector. The Collaborative Tech Suite can familiarize you with this equipment and prepare you for presenting in the classroom. This video will explain to you in detail the functions and capabilities of each component and how it is beneficial to you in your experience here at CCRI. In this section, we will cover how to play a DVD in the classroom. Although it is rare, you may still find a TV set directly on a car. More commonly, the classrooms will be equipped with a DVD VCR combo unit directly on the desktop. You also have the option of playing your DVD directly through the computer. I will go over both of these options for you in just a minute. As you may notice, there are many different buttons located on the front of the DVD VCR combo unit. The first button is the power button, then DVD eject, line down or line up selection, DVD VCR selection, HDMI, record, rewind, stop, play or pause, fast forward, and VHS eject. If your projector is displaying the computer image, press the video button on the projector remote to play your DVD or VHS. The first step is to ensure that the DVD VCR combo unit is correctly powered on. The second step is to eject your DVD tray and insert your DVD. Once you've inserted the DVD, press the eject button and your DVD will load. Once your disc has loaded, you will press the play button to begin your disc. Once your video is finished, you will press the stop button followed by the eject button and retrieve your disc. Be sure to close the tray and power off the unit. An alternative way to play the DVD is through the computer using Windows Media Player. First step to doing that would be to insert the disc into the DVD tray. Once you've inserted the disc, go to the bottom taskbar and select the Windows Media Player icon. Once Windows Media Player is opened, select your disc located on the left-hand panel. Windows Media Player has the same basic buttons that are found on the combo unit. You have Stop, Previous, Play or Pause, and Next. You can also control the volume of your video directly through Windows Media Player. When you have finished watching your DVD, press Stop and close Windows Media Player. Be sure you don't forget your video in the DVD tray. Playing a VHS is very similar to playing a DVD. First step is to make sure you have powered the unit on. Then you will insert your VHS. Once your VHS is finished, you press the eject button and retrieve your tape. All of the equipment when you have finished. The Collaborative Tech Suite is also equipped with a symposium. Much more than a monitor, a Symposium is an interactive display which gives you the capabilities to do screen capturing, digitally draw of an image, and much more. Using your pen, you can find the toolbar located on the left-hand side of your screen. It is a gray rectangular box with two arrows on top. 
The first tool you'll find in the toolbar is a cursor. It acts much like a mouse, which allows you to open and close programs. The black pen tool is one of several ink options. It allows you to draw over an image in black ink. The red pen tool does the same, only in red. The highlighter tool allows you to highlight text using a semi-transparent yellow layer. If you have made a mistake or have finished drawing, you can use the eraser tool to erase the ink layer. The right click button allows the pen to be used just like right clicking the mouse. The next button will open the notebook software, which allows you to edit screen captures and put together a presentation. The seldom used keyboard button is also located on the toolbar. It allows you to pull up a digital keyboard where you can use your pen to select text. The undo button will allow you to undo the last action you have done if you have made a mistake or need to go back. Keep in mind that the on-screen toolbar is fully customizable, allowing you to add or remove tools and pens to better suit your needs. If you prefer not to use the on-screen toolbar, you can use the buttons located on the top and the bottom of your screen. You have the cursor, which acts just like the mouse, the black pen tool, in addition to the blue pen tool, and the red pen tool. And on the top, you also have an eraser. On the bottom, you'll find the right click button, the keyboard button, the notebook software button, screen capture button, settings, and another right click button. The projector here in the Collaborative Tech Suite at the Flanagan campus is a short throw projector. It allows you to get right up to the screen without interfering with the object. First step would be to press the red power button on the remote control to power on the unit. The next step is to select your source. The computer button on the projector remote will allow you to select the document camera, where you can switch between the document camera, the desktop computer, or the KVM switch. And the video button will allow you to select the DVD VCR combo unit. Much like an overhead projector that only displays transparencies, a document camera can also display three-dimensional objects, such as textbooks, artwork, models, and much more. In the Collaborative Tech Suite here at the Flanagan campus, we have a document camera, which is similar to the models that you find in the classrooms. I will go over the basic functions of this unit for you. If you find a document camera that hasn't been properly set up, all you have to do is raise the two arms and then adjust the camera. As you may notice, there are many different buttons located on the front of the document camera. Each of these buttons has a specific function. The first buttons you have are your input selection buttons. You can select between using the document camera, the computer, or the KVM switch. Once you have selected the document camera as the input, you must select the lamp. You can switch between the upper lamp for a three-dimensional object, the base lamp for a transparency, and you can also turn off the lamp. You also have the capability to rotate the image, switch between positive and negative, white balance, and you can also adjust the contrast. The final section of buttons are the camera control buttons. You have the option to switch between auto and manual iris, where you can open the iris to allow more light, or close the iris to allow less light. You can also zoom in and out. The last button is the auto focus button, which allows the camera to automatically focus on the object. Here in the Collaborative Tech Suite at the Flanagan campus, you'll find the KVM switch. KVM switch is a piece of equipment that allows you to toggle between two computer sources. This device is set up to toggle between the laptop and the iMac. To do so, all you need to do is press the select button to switch between source 1 
and source 2. In the Collaborative Tech Suite, the KVM switch is hooked up to the document camera. So make sure you select KVM switch on the input selection. The Collaborative Tech Suite is available by appointment only. To reserve your time slot, please call the number on the bottom of your screen.